Member for Prince George Mackenzie. Mr. Speaker, next week is National Police Week. Police agencies in BC are advocating for a more collaborative approach and a more integrated effort amongst all police services, social agencies, and our justice system in providing a modernized approach to public safety. They spend their days to focus on the very small percentage of our populations who are the worst behaved citizens in our communities, people who commit such unspeakable acts against others that the average person cannot begin to comprehend, and people who lie, cheat, steal, and take advantage of the vulnerable. And they do this under the rigors of a strong constitution, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, and complex technical investigative requirements. And they do this with compassion, empathy, and professionalism. But they can't do this by themselves. They need the support of our justice system in keeping violent, prolific offenders in jail. They need our justice system to recognize that violent offenders who continually reoffend with increasing violence and who continually demonstrate complete disdain for police and our justice system cannot be measured solely against the charter provision of being considered innocent until proven guilty. The Supreme Court of Canada in a 2022 decision, R versus JJ, says in part, an accused is not entitled to have procedures crafted that take only their interests into account. The decision goes on to say that crucially, fairness is also assessed from the point of view of the complainant and the community. I hope our justice system in BC keeps these words of this decision in mind and considers the safety of our officers in their deliberations respecting bail for violent, prolific offenders. On behalf of all of us in this House, I wish to thank all police officers and support personnel for their role in keeping our province safe. We want to ensure that all police officers return home safe to their families every day.